Are you looking to increase your design skills and productivity? From sketching, surfacing, assemblies, and everything in between, our books have you covered. Purchase a paperback or PDF version in our store today. Well, hello, my name is Steve Samuel, and today I would like to do something with you. Uh, and it's a little known command called the silhouette flange. And the silhouette flange is very powerful and not so easy to understand unless you see exactly what it's doing. So I'm going to build a little piece of geometry that I'm going to make a silhouette flange on, and you will see how powerful the technique is. And uh, we'll go through it together. So I'm going to make a G1 curvature continuity spline here. Make it out like that. And I'm going to rotate uh, this, I'll call it an obelisk. Oops. I want to do a spline. G1 curvature continuity. I'm going to make it go down to there. I'm going to put in another point so I can kind of control going on here. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oops. All right. And you say, okay. So there you go. There's my spline. And this little line segment, I'm going to convert to a reference. And I'm going to perhaps put in a dimension. It looks like that. And I'll make it exactly two. And that is good enough to complete my revolve. I'm going to revolve. And just for giggles, I'm going to revolve it as a sheet. And the sheet's going to go around the y-axis. So here we have an open face that's nice and smooth on the end because of that tangency. Great. And now, for reasons that will become obvious in just a moment, I'm going to make another line form. It looks like that. And I'm going to extrude it inward and outward, like that. And I'm not going to uh, do a Boolean because all I've got is sheets. And I'm going to go into the curve and do an intersect between the two faces to make a nice little intersection curve that looks like that. Just like that. So there we go. We have a nice contour, a nice curve on a surface. And uh, just for giggles, I think I'll make yet another one that goes on this plane here. And this one's just going to be a gentle arc. So this is the kind of stuff that allows me to do industrial design. And you'd like that and say, okay. And I'm going to do a intersect between this face and this face. And say, okay. Okay. So I've got those intersection curves. Now I want to show you in the surface mode, in more, there is a command called Silhouette Curve. Silhouette Curve. And Silhouette Curve is amazing. Uh, what you do is you select a curve that you want to put a, uh, I'm sorry, Silhouette Flange. Silhouette Flange. You select the curve that you want to put the flange on and you select the base face. And look at that. It makes a flange that would be very, very hard to create any other way. It has a radius. It has an extension length, and it has an angle. If I put it at zero, it's going to give me an angle that looks like that. See? So for this one, I've got a 0.25 radius. I've got this extension length right here. I'm going to make that 0.25 as well. And my angle is zero. And I have continuity as tangent. And so that's a really cool Thing that you can use in your industrial design projects. So I'm going to do that again. So I did an F4, and I'm selecting the contour, I'm selecting the, the face, um, and this one, uh, reverse flange side. I want it to reverse, bear with me, there we go, okay, just like that. 
And this one, I think I want to tilt down a little bit. So I'm going to say minus 10, no, minus 20. And I'm going to lengthen it up a little bit, like so. Say OK. So there you go. I have two surfaces, uh, two uh, silhouette flanges. Now I think I want to put a face that goes from that edge to that edge. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a through curve surface, through curves. Now I'm going to try something that probably won't work. I'm just going to select this edge here, and I'm going to select that edge there. And oh, it's working. Okay, great. Okay, I didn't think it worked because sometimes um, the start points are not in the same spot. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to do a split. Um, let's go into home more. I'm going to do a divide face. And I'm going to div divide this face with this edge right here. Apply. And I'm going to divide this face with this edge right here. Okay. Uh, uh oh, what happened? Oh. Shift K. Um, I had hide uh, dividing objects. Okay, there's that. And I'm going to go to the delete face and I'm going to take off the heel command right, like this. And I'm going to delete the middle. And that did not work. Hold on. Hold J. Take that divide face. Okay, divide face, divide face. Good. And what I'm trying to do, let's do a control H here. So I'm trying to get rid of this region. Okay. So I'm doing a delete with a heel off. And I delete this face. So I had to delete on. Okay. So there is um, a set of surfaces that are almost ready for me to. Let's do view, get rid of that. So in order to make this a solid, I need to. Go into surface, and I'm going to do a bounded plane. Uh, bounded plane. There it is, bounded plane. I'm going to select that edge and say OK. And now I'm going to sew this all together to get my final solid. And so, in order to do that, I go to surface. I go to the sew command. I select one surface. I make a box around the rest of them. What I like to do is click on show result so I can see that right here it says solid body created and say okay. And so now I have the finished project, product I should say. Control H, you can see that it is solid. And that is a demonstration of the silhouette flange. It's incredibly powerful. It's not that well known and it is quite fabulous and amazing. My name is Steve Samuel. Thank you very much for your viewership. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and um, take a look at there's many other videos that we have on this channel. And I really appreciate it. And have a wonderful day.